That's it, Reverend. <clears throat> Hello, happy Saturday, everybody. Get that out of the way. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh yeah, I didn't win then, I take it. <laughs> Jeez. Hey everybody. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm live. I got Zed and Reverend in here by the looks of it. I know Zed's here. Zed always comes in here. Never fails. Hi, Paul. How are you? I've seen you before on another chat, but I just can't place you. I've seen your name before. Hey, JP. How are you? I'm just going to wait for a few more to come in before I get started. I hope everybody's doing good today. Hi, Reverend. Brooke's over here sitting on the couch watching TV, so he can't watch the... Hey, Callie, how are you? You can't watch the TV downstairs, so... Something, I don't know, he can't, I, I don't know, there's something up with the TV downstairs with the projector screen, so he's got to stay up here. So, I hope everyone's doing good today. Hi, Linda, how are you? Hi, Pamela. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. I'm just going to give it a few minutes. I was on live 10 minutes with only one person. Oh, wow, Reverend. I wouldn't care even if it was one person. I wouldn't care. You mean one person chatting with you or just one person behind? Right now I've got 18. Hi, Helen, how are you? I hope everybody's doing good. Hey, Cece. <clears throat> I got my dogs outside, so it's, hopefully it's, well, if they start barking, I'm gonna have to shut my window. It's kind of nice out here. It's kind of cool, but it's, it's the sun is out. They said we were gonna get rain, but nothing yet so maybe tonight we might get a little bit a little bit of rain i was watching miss tammy and danny okay i didn't know i kept looking around to see if anyone was on but then i i brooke can you please turn that down or put your headphones on please okay then you got to keep it down buddy only one person but didn't oh that heart's in the way i still haven't taken the heart off my tablet it was the last day and December, Saturday. Take away after 22 years of being on TV. Mm. Hi, Loretta. How are you? I hope everybody's doing good. So I have an update on uh, Mr. Tim Varner. Me and Kathy have been keeping in contact. I was on the phone with her for eight hours yesterday. Yeah. Hey, you can't yeah. worry. There's always someone live. Depending on how many, I don't follow 300 people. There's no way I could even keep up. There's no way I could even keep up. I'm doing okay. Having, oh, my goodness. So I've got an update on Tim. Um, I've talked to Kathy. I've been in contact with her since yesterday. Yeah. I had a meeting at 10. Hi, Anna. How are you? I hope you're feeling okay. I had a meeting at 10 for my son. And then I ran to the store quick. And then I got home and I got a message from her saying, are you busy? 911. So that freaked me out. I just called her. I didn't message her. I just phoned her. So, Tim did have a stroke. 
Yeah. He was in the town that they live in, <laughs> but then they moved him out of town, which is not walking distance, it's, it's driving. You have to drive. So, Kathy has been in contact with me, like steady, pretty much steady on the phone with each other. And I told her, I will stay on the phone with you for hours on end if I need to, unless she has to make a call or unless she gets a call from the hospital. So he went to a different, I can't remember the town, black something, I can't remember the town now. But he's in ICU, so he did have a stroke. So the more I know, I've gotten permission from Kathy to say, to let you guys know what's going on, because she's not on YouTube right now. So she's telling me that, like I never even asked. She told me, she says, you can update everybody. I said, okay. So I'm letting you all know what's going on with Tim. He's not home yet. He's not home yet. So I am keeping my phone on solid. My phone is charged right now. So if anything happens during this live, she's not in here right now, but she is watching. She's very tired. She's exhausted. She got a little bit of sleep last night, not a whole lot, a little bit. So she's pretty stressed out right now. So I'm leaving my phone on, even at night, if I, she needs to phone me in the night, I'm answering my phone. I am keeping it on. So if anything does happen during this live, I have my do not disturb off. So if she even needs to phone me on the phone, she can. My live ends. So if I don't say goodbye and I just hit the X button, then you know why. So I'm just letting you guys know. So she needs hardcore prayers. They both do right now. Because Kathy is by herself. I can't, I can't be next to her. But being on the phone with her is giving her comfort, and I'm, I'm her backbone right now. That's how I'm taking it. This is my opinion. Other people she has talked to, I'm not saying anything about anybody else. But me, yeah, when I phoned her yesterday and I said, hey, she broke down. So I am trying to be there for her. It's, I'm not really, I'm not like putting people on the back burner, but right now she's my number one priority. Because she is by herself. Like, I would do the same for all of you if I had to. So I just want everyone to understand. She's my friend. Tim is my friend. I care deeply for these people. Hands down. Everybody knows that we're family. We're, we're family. So... I need to be there for her. So, I just need everyone to pray for both of them. Because they both need it right now. They both need it. She's exhausted. Like, she's exhausted. I don't even know how many hours she was up yesterday. Well, quite a bit, actually. Because we were on the phone lots. Unless she was talking to the hospital. And the doctors and stuff. So... You're doing the right thing. I know I'm doing the right thing, Helen. Yeah. She needs me right now, so I'm there for her. I'm there. She's going to need me when... I'm hoping when Tim gets home, she's, she's going to need me as well. So, that's what we do for each other, right? You're a good friend to them. I, I so am, Linda. Like, I'm... I'm like, it's, it's funny, because, you know, it. Kathy and I are like the yin and the yang, sort of, you know?
like she had told me a long time ago, or even on her live, like, I'm a fixer. I like to fix stuff. Can I fix all stuff? No, I can't, you know? And she's very, she's like, <clears throat> like, she's blunt, right? And straight to the point, right? Me, I'm kind of, I kind of hold back a little bit. So we even out together as humans, you know? So, yeah. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Yeah, she needs everybody. She needs prayers right now. She sure does need prayers. She's not phoning a bunch of people right now. She's trying to keep up her strength. She is eating. Thank gosh, because I always... Have you eaten? Have you eaten? She's just... She's really, really, really tired. She's really tired. She got a tiny bit of sleep last night. And I know she was on the phone... I believe with Tim early this morning, the wee hours. So I'm a fixer too, Slim. It's our love language. Yeah, it's hard when you can't fix it and you try to. It's so hard. But I wanted to give you guys the update so you know exactly what's going on. But he's not, he's still, he's still in the hospital right now. He's still there. So it's tough. Like it's, it's so tough. She's just not ready to be out there with everybody right now. She's got a lot on her plate. She's dealing with a lot right now. So it's hard. It's hard. Hi, Hawaii. <clears throat> I'm saying that right now, aren't I? Before I couldn't even say it. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys the update. The more that I know, and she lets me know to give the update to you guys, then I will, I will definitely say something. She might even post something herself. So, hi, Brian. How are you? Thanks, JP. Lots of love and prayers. Yes, for sure, Anna. She needs them right now. She needs them. She feels helpless right now. And it's hard because she can't drive. She cannot drive. So she can't drive 40, 50 miles out of town. She can't. Like, it would be a totally different story now if I was there. I'm just saying. Like, we're, we're together, but we're not... Like, we're together. So, it's, it's hard. It's hard when you can't just be, like, an hour away. Or, But I'm glad she can just phone me. She can phone me anytime. Anytime. And she knows that. She knows that. She can phone me in the middle of the night if she needs to. I'm there. Because she was in bed, I think, last night at 9 o'clock. Yeah, it was 7 my time, 9 o'clock her time. She told me she was going to bed. I stayed up for three hours after that. I thought, no, I better just stay up just in case. If she needs to phone, I'm still awake. Then I was scared if she phoned me in the night. My phone, the Wi-Fi wasn't going to reach the bedroom because it's down the hallway. And then the Wi-Fi thing, it goes down. I thought, oh my gosh, like if I don't hear that phone ring, but it was all good. She didn't have to phone me in the night, so it was a little scary. A little scary. It's hard. It's really hard. And it's hard to hear her hurt on the other end because I can't just go up to her and give her a hug or, you know, just hold her. I can't do that. So it's tough. Just came in. Oh, okay, Tina. So, yeah. I just wanted to let everybody know what was going on. So he's still there. So if she lets me say anything, then I will totally update everybody. But if not, then I'm just going to keep quiet because it's her call. Thanks, Shirley. They really need it right now. They really need it. Like, she's not in chat, but she is watching. She is watching. Hi, bearded granny. 
Hi, Terry. <clears throat> so it's a rough time. It's a really rough time right now. Hi, Michelle. So it's a, it's a rough time. Tell Brooke I put new song on my channel and would love if he <laughs> sung it with me. <laughs> I don't know if he'll sing it with you, Reverend, but, but like, he might listen to it. I don't know if he'd sing it with you. Yeah, I, I'll have him listen to it, uh, Reverend. I don't know if he'll sing it, because he probably won't know it, right? So I'm just saying. Yeah, his music is a little bit different than... He listens to... Well, he's listening to the stuff that uh, teenagers listen to, that a lot of adults don't listen to. Where's my mom? 2011, my best friend... Knowing I had others. Yeah, CJ. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm... I'm Kathy's leaning post. She can't carry the stress all by herself. It's a heavy load, so I'm stepping in and I want to help her carry some too. So... Like, I can't do nothing from here, but to her to even just to talk to, even if she wants to scream, say whatever, I'm just here to listen to her. Like, we've, we've talked a lot, like a lot. I'm going to be a silent viewer. I've been sick. Oh, get better, Terry. Hope you're feeling okay. It's hard when you can't fix something. It is, Linda. It is. You know, it's it's tough. It's tough. Would you please take this live shareable? Last week was private. As soon as I end my live, Michelle, I'll go on my computer and I'll post it to public. That's what I usually do. So when when it's over, I'll go on my computer and then you can share it out. But I can't do anything right at the moment, I don't think. So, just knowing she can call you anytime is a big relief. Right, yes, any time of the day, day or night, I'm always here. Always, always. Okay, baby. <laughs> Didn't we go through this one time before? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so they need prayers. They need them fast. They need lots of them. Because this battle is not over yet. It's not over yet by any means. Because she got pretty scared when it happened. Because she was there with him when it happened. So I couldn't even imagine. So it was a little intense for a few minutes for her. Your hair sure is pretty today. Oh, I think it looks kind of... I tried to do my faux hawk today and it didn't work out. I don't know. I'm just... I don't I don't want it to be trained to go like this because I do like it to go the other way, but I had no time. I had no time. It's a totally different kind of day, so I wasn't too worried about myself. As long as my hair was clean, that's all I worried about. So, because I was just on the phone with Kathy, and I was on the phone for, with her for over an hour before I went live. So, hi, Melissa. Uh, Tim Varner needs prayer, and so does Kathy Varner. Just a southern girl, they need prayers right now. Tim had a stroke. So, she was with him when it happened so that it scared the living crap out of her so I've been in contact with her now for two days so far so it's just it's a really tough time for her and him big time 
Hi, Lulu Bug. Thank you. She so appreciates it. She so appreciates it. She may not be here in chat, but she can see what you guys are saying. So. <clears throat> Yeah, Michelle, like I kind of, you know, well, when I love, I love hard, right? So I love hard for her and I love hard for Tim. I just don't throw that word around saying, hey, I love you because someone wants to hear it. No, I'm not like that. I tell her I love her every day. I've told her I've loved her for the full eight, even if... She could phone me six or seven times. It's always, I love you, after we end the phone call. Every time we say that to each other. It's not just, I love you one time and then we're done. It's all the time we do that. We never say, okay, bye, see you later. It's always, I love you. Message me later. Call me later if you can. We always do that with each other. Always. So, yeah, slim girl, what other way is there, what other way is there to live? I'm not sure what that means. Like, oh, oh to love hard? I uh, autocorrect. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little stressful right now, so... Two people, too many. They do. They just throw that word around like it's candy. Here. I don't do that. If I love you, I love you. And I do. Like, it's a, it's amazing because I don't think a lot of people thought that Kathy and I would be friends. But I know a side of her that a lot of people don't know. So. Is she... Uh, is she hardcore? Yeah, yeah. I like those kind of people, though. I do. I like those kind of people. She's smart. Like, oh my gosh, she's smarter than a whip. I always end my calls with loved ones. Yeah. Yeah, you always say I love you. Always. I always do, too. Always. It's never just like, yeah, okay, bye, see you later. I, yeah. Yeah, no. I don't do that either. We love you. We truly love you. We love hard too. I like loving hard. Some people are scared of it. Like some people are scared of it. I Because like sometimes like they're not used to it. And they're all like, whoa, what's happening here? You know? But then you get used to it. And it's like, hey, this, I like it. I like it. But yeah, they are, they're my family. Both her and Tim are my family. We're not blood, but you don't have to be blood to be family. So. But I just wanted to update you. Kathy gave me the permission to. So I just wanted everyone to know what's going on. So hard to watch your loved one can be sick. Especially, yeah. See, I've never... I've never experienced that. It freaked me out when she told me that she did. It scared her so bad. It scared her. Because you almost feel helpless. You know, you don't know what to do. But she's on his chart, steady. Reading stuff, even to me, I don't understand it. She can make more out of it than I can. So... It's, it's hard. Hi, Brian. How are you? Thank you, sir. Yeah, she's, she's just not ready to be on here saying stuff. And she's not ready for that right now. She's going through quite a bit. See, I love you when talking to family or friends. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, I can't be there to... I can't be there. So it's, it's tough. Oh, I would imagine, Cindy. I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine what she went through. At all. I couldn't. I'm sure she was fast acting. 
Yeah, she, yeah. There's a lot of things that she knows. Well, she's been with Tim forever, so she knows exactly. She knows all the meds that he takes, what he should have, what he shouldn't have. So, and if I don't understand, then I, what does this mean? So, and then she knows right away. Like, she knows stuff. It's, ah, it's crazy. Is Mr. Tim okay, considering... I I don't know if I could share this. Like I'm really watching what I say. Just let me say that I did hear Tim talking yesterday. It didn't sound like him. He sounded totally different. Totally different. Because I hear him talk. When Kathy and I talk, we all talk together. Yeah. Tim will tell me a story. And also we were doing that too, like the little quirky things that he does. Like he'll, she'll be talking to me. And then you can hear Tim in the background trying to tell me a story. And then he'll, he'll get on the phone and he'll say, Miss Slim, Miss Slim. And I'm already chuckling because I know he's got something to say. And then Kathy's beside him and she's laughing. So he tells me a story, but he's, he didn't sound the same. His voice was very scratchy. He sure didn't sound the same at all. Like it, it scared me yesterday. Like I cried with her yesterday. It freaked me right out, like freaked me right out. So, y'all on speakerphone? Yeah, we go on speakerphone, Melissa. Yep, when I talk to her, when she's at home, when they're home, like when they are home, she's on speakerphone. So we all talk to together. It's not just you, like just me and Kathy. There's times where it's, it's just me and Kathy, but I'm always on speakerphone. So we all chit chat together. Like we all chit chat together. You didn't have to answer. I totally understand, sweetie. Okay. I just got to watch what I say. I don't want to go over bounds. So that's all I know right now. When I, when and if I can update you, I will. So glad she is able. He is able for surgery. Who, who, oh. Oh, you're talking to Pamela. Okay. I wish she had someone that lived closer to her. Oh gosh, Michelle, you and me both. You and me both. I wish they were in Canada. I'm telling you. Tim would get good care here. It's so tough. Hi, KK. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Like, it's so tough. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. It's hard that I can't be there with her. Hi, Gladys. Um, Tim had a stroke yesterday, Gladys. He's in ICU right now. So they're monitoring him. Yeah, it's tough. Like, you know, like, it's so tough. It's so tough. Man, I wish he was Canadian. I'm just saying. I wish he was Canadian. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, I'm petrified of flying. There's no, I'm just scared. Kathy's petrified of flying. Like, I'm telling you. It's hard. Like, and she can't just, you know, pack her bag, 
fling on her purse and out the door she goes. Like, she's got little puppies too. She's got pets. She just can't leave. I'm leaving for a week. She can't do that. Like, she can't. That's the hard part. Yes, Gladys, for sure. She would so appreciate that, everybody, to pray for them both. They both need prayer right now. It's a really tough situation. She is by herself. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. And then you feel helpless. You know, it. it's so hard. If God puts it in your heart to go, you will make it. A, you'll... Well, we were talking about, like, I don't even have a passport. I don't even have a passport. I always get scared where I'm never going to be there in time. Like, I am I am so petrified of flying. I'm tell I am so scared of flying. Brooke, it's not going to do you any good to go downstairs because you can't watch that TV. Yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard. So I'm hoping, I'm, I cross my heart every day. I say a prayer for both of them every night. Like, she, she's like, they're just steady on my mind. Solid, solid. Like, I didn't move off my couch for hours yesterday. And then I thought to myself, okay, well, if I'm going to be any good to her, I better go lay down and get a little bit of rest. You are doing all you can with sometimes prayers. Yeah, it's hard. Like, I'm here day and night for her, so. I'm just hoping it all works out and he's able to come home, be in his own surroundings, because I can imagine right now he's probably, it's, it's so unusual for him. He doesn't have all his, the stuff that he needs. So I'm hoping it all works out. That's what I'm thinking. It's all going to be good. He's going to be okay. It's just, it's tough. No, Melissa, he's not very old. He's not very old at all. He's in his 60s. Now watch, it was his birthday yesterday. That's the sad thing. Kathy had supper all planned out for him, his favorite for his birthday. And then it didn't go that way. So, which is so sad. Hi, Miss Junk, how are you? Yeah, they are awful. Oh, I, I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, it was his birthday yesterday. That's the sad part. You don't have to thank me, Tammy. You need to thank Kathy. She's the one who said I could say something. Because I wasn't even... No, I wasn't even going to say nothing at all. No. But she said, no, you can update everybody if you like. And I said, okay. If that's what you want me to do, then that's what I'll do. So, yeah. So, if she wants me to update again, then I will. But that's all I can share right now. I don't want to get into any specific stuff or anything like that. So, but that's, that's what happened. So, now everybody knows what's going on. So, he's in ICU right now. So, <clears throat> So I'm going to keep my phone on. Anything does happen as I'm live. And if I have to end it quickly, then I will just hit the X and I will back off. I will just shut it down. So if I don't say nothing and it ends, then you know why. I got a call from Kathy. My phone rang because I have my do not disturb off. Usually I put it on when I'm live. So, and if she does phone... Or even if she sends me a message in Messenger, because we've got a code word, I know for a fact something's up, I gotta go. 
So if I end it abruptly, then you know why. It's her who's getting a hold of me. So I'm not doing it to be mean or anything. So if I end it, then you know I'm getting a hold of her. So, but I'm making a little something today. And this is for her because she's a cream cheese freak. So I thought I would dead this like this live is for her and Tim. Everyone needs a friend like you. You all have a friend like me. I would do this. What I'm doing for Kathy, I would do for each and every one of you if I had to. So. But right now she's she's my she's my besides my family, like I'm still taking care of my family. I have not just like, okay, you guys, you got you're on your own. I'm not doing that. I'm taking care of everybody. And I'm trying to take care of Kathy at the same time, too. So if I'm sitting here like this morning, I got up at, oh gosh, I think it was six. She had messaged me earlier. And then I told her, it's like, I, I got to bed after 10. So it was after 12 her time. She was still sleeping, thankfully. It's like, I'm just going to lay down for a little bit longer. I don't know what happened. Then all of a sudden... I got up, looked at my phone. I think it was 7 o'clock. I got up. Sat here and had my coffee. I believe I sent her a message. Sometimes you get confused on what, what's going on sometimes. I believe I sent her a message and then she phoned me. But I have, like, my family sitting around me. They know. They all know what's going on. They all know. If my phone rings or there's a message, they know exactly. They know it's her. They know it's Kathy. If I'm in the washroom, I was in the washroom, I came out. Your phone's ringing, your phone's ringing. Well, if I can't get to my phone, somebody answer my phone. Somebody answer my phone. So everybody in my house knows exactly what's going on. So they know what I'm doing. But I'm still taking care of everybody. And I'm taking care of Kathy as well. So I'm going to make something for her today. Because I think she likes all this stuff. So I want her to have ham roll-ups today. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to be. You look good in that color. Oh, thank you, Gladys. I like the pastel colors. Like the light greens, the light pinks, the peaches, peach color, like the yellow. So, yeah. Pray for you, God, give her strength. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of taking a toll on her. It's taking a toll on her, and it's hard. It's hard. Like, I could hear it in her voice. Hi, Patty G. Sorry, hon, I missed you there. Sorry. Tammy Lee, sorry. Did I say hi to you? I'm so sorry. So sorry. So I'm going to make something a little... It's, you can, it's like a dessert, I guess you could say. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so simple. It's, it's ridiculous. Because she asked me what I was doing today, so I told her. And right away, out of her mouth, cream cheese? It's like, yeah, baby. <laughs> Because <laughs> she loves cream cheese. She just loves cheese. She just loves cheese. I'm just saying. So, I have to go. But now I will pray again. Thank you, Lulu Bug. So I thought I'd make this little dessert. Well, I don't even know if you would even call it a dessert. I think it would be just like a snack. Nothing to be sorry. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I get to, I get to talking and then I... I kind of skim through the messages, but then I forget to, to say the person's name. So sorry. I apologize. Hi, Lorraine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Overwhelmed as Kathy is too overwhelmed. Like, it's an overwhelming feeling, you know. It's an overwhelming feeling. Like, we both felt sick to our stomachs yesterday. Like, I felt sick to my stomach. Like, you can't eat, and 
She did eat, thank God. She did eat. She did finally eat. But she was up all day. I think she was up for... Oh, gosh. Like, no napping. But I think she was up, like, for eight hours straight. Even way before that. So it might have been longer. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Way longer. I will put Kathy in my prayers. Thank you, Miss Junk. Thank you. So I thought I'd do this little... I think it's a snack. It's not a dessert. It's got good stuff in it, though. Is it sweet? Yeah. But it's a good sweet, though. Is it fattening? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not like you eat it every day. Well, depending on the kind of uh, uh, cream cheese, you can use the light. This is just regular cream cheese. I didn't go, I couldn't find any gluten-free cream cheese. They didn't have any. There's sour cream in it, cream cheese, vanilla extract, sugar, and heavy whipping cream. And the best part of it, and it's on strawberry. So I'm dedicating this little goodie here. They're called um, deviled strawberries. That's what I'm making. So I know for a fact Kathy's going to whip some of these up. <laughs> Maybe not today, but I know she's going to whip some of these up. I, I Maybe. I don't know. So, I'm going to make some. This is for her. I don't know if Tim would eat these. I don't know if he would or not. I'm thinking he would. I'm thinking he would. I like full flavor food. I do too, Reverend, but sometimes it plays a little bit of havoc on my guts and when that happens then I just nope I gotta step it back I can't eat too much rich stuff because that just plays havoc it just plays havoc but this is full fat <laughs> the not the total it's it's sweet it's sweet but then you got the strawberries too which are they're good for you right so because I'm going to make um I've got my supper ready to go. So this is just like, I'm my cooking vegetables? No, that's going on my plate. So we're gonna have our meal with the strawberries and it'll make the, the plate look pretty, right? So it'll all taste good together. So yeah, so that's what I thought. No, nope. this is gonna be for Kathy and Tim. I am swear that uh, Tim would eat this. He'd probably have one, maybe. You'd have one. So I thought I would make that today. I Even on Friday, like usually I already have my live scheduled by Friday. I didn't schedule it till today. I thought about going live Friday. Then I thought, no, no, I'm not even going live Friday. Forget it. No. As with, I've talked to Kathy and it's like, if anything goes awry, I'm not even scheduling my live Saturday. I'm not even going to do anything right now. But she did tell me, she says, no, schedule your live. If anything crazy happens, and if I phone you or message you, I said, I'll end it. I'll end it. If I'm on for 10 minutes, I'll end it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So she knows if she messages me or phones me, and if I got to go, I got to go. If you make me hungry, <laughs> guaranteed someone's going to want to eat this. I'm telling you. I have to go plug up batteries down. Okay, Lorraine. So I'll move you on over. And we'll get this made. Then, Because I, I got potatoes to boil. I was going to have a late, late supper tonight. But... I'm just going to keep my iPad over here. I'll move. I hope you guys can see all this. I'll see what you see in a second. I'm going to scroll down just to see what I'm looking at and if you can see it. Oh, there you go. You can see it, right? So these are my strawberries. So what you have to do, you cut them in half. I don't have a melon baller. I just use this. 
So you're going to dig a little bit out of the strawberry so you can put your, your piping in like a deviled egg, correct? As well, you're going to cut a piece off the back so they sit flat. And they look like that. Here, I've got, what are these cookies? You can use graham crackers if you want. I have shortbread. I took the shortbread cookies, put them in my processor, and made them light, like just like a powder. Here is my one cup of whipping cream. So we're making deviled strawberries. Not deviled eggs, deviled strawberries. A full block of cream cheese, any kind that you want to use, light. I don't know if they have diet cream cheese. I'm not sure. Probably not, but vanilla extract. I'll be using a teaspoon of this, but I'll put the recipe in my description box just in case. I've got, I believe, one, how much sugar is that? How much sugar? Two-third cup sugar. Two-third cup sugar. Third cup sour cream. I got my piping bag over here. You can just use a plastic bag or like a Ziploc bag, cut the corner. You're good to go. You don't need a piping bag. I just use a piping, piping bag because it makes it look pretty. And then the strawberries, 18 to 24. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I've got, I think I've got 18 here that are cut. But I'm going to do a couple more because I, I think, myself, I'm going to have quite a bit of stuff. I don't want it to go to waste, but I don't want to overfill them either. So I'm just going to cut these in half, like so. Get the green stuff off, like the, just cut it off, just like so. I don't have a melon baller. I looked for one. I use my quarter teaspoon. That's what I use. So we're just gonna like just dig out a little divot just like so just dig it out there you go just like that I hope you guys can see okay can you see it's this Sun I'm telling you where am I gonna put this I'll just put it right here it's the Sun I wonder if I close my curtain I wonder if that'll make a difference will that make a difference is that even better or is it worse? Gosh, the light in here is something else, I'm telling you, folks. So, yeah, you just cut this off. Cut a little piece off the back so it sits nice and flat. Just like that. That one's done. This one's not done. And I got to make a little divot in here. Just so you have a little divot for the cream cheese and everything to sit in. Stick it in my dish, like so. These can go in the garbage, just like so. They say 18 to 24. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need more or not. I just think this is not even going to be enough myself, but we'll see. So my whipping cream's already done. I'm just going to set this aside. Where's my fork? I'm just going to just soften this, this cream cheese. It's soft. It's at room temperature. It's been sitting out for a while. So you want it at room temperature. Hi to all the ones who are not chatting. I hope your Saturday is fantastic. So I'm just going to soften this with a fork. And I'm going to add my sugar, my sour cream, and my vanilla extract. 
to this dish. I guess I could have used a different bowl that you could see in, but there's the sour, uh, the cream cheese. Sugar in. Okay, now I need a spatula, sour cream in. So do your whipping cream first. And it's only a cup of uh, heavy whipping cream. Only a cup. Not very much. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Hi, Tony. How are you? I can't hear the chat neither. So just type it in. What's happening? So, Tony, can you hear me, Tony? I'm going to shut that. Don't know. So, okay, so, can, Tony, can you hear me? I hope everyone can hear me. So, yesterday, oh, Tim had a stroke. He did have a stroke. And right now he's in ICU. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, you're going to have to make this. Yeah, he's in ICU. So Kathy gave me the permission to update everybody on what's happening. When I hear more and she lets me update, then I will. So that's what's happening at the moment. He is in ICU. I've been on the phone with her eight hours yesterday and most of the day today. The last time I talked to her was probably quarter after three. As she knows, I'm, I'm going live. I wasn't going to go live today. She told me to go live, so I said, okay, if anything happens and she messages me, and I have, if I have to go, I will end my live. LOL, I'm hungry also. So I've added all that. Now I'm going to mix it. I guess I could lo you, lo lower you down even more so you could even maybe. My gosh, have you heard so much barking in your mic? What is happening? Holy goodness gracious. You think those dogs out there were wild. So I'm going to mix this up. I am making um, deviled strawberries, Tony. So this is dedicated to my buddy. Yeah, buddy. My Kathy V. I'm not sure if Tim would eat these, but I think he would try one. <laughs> I think he would try one. Because his favorite food's pizza. So, I know I'm making a pizza tonight. <laughs> so I thought I would make this because Kathy loves cream cheese. Like, she loves cream cheese. She loves cheese. She just loves cheese. So this is for them. So I'm going to mix this up till it's nice and mixed and smooth. I think I'm going to use a whisk myself. And I'm going to lick this fork, but I'm not going to put it back in the dish. Oh my good gosh. <laughs> you got to make this, Kathy. You're going to love it. I'm just saying. You can even taste the sour cream just a little bit. Well, heck, I have two ingredient dough pizza ready to go now. Oh, wow, CJ. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Hi, G. How are you? Sorry. Is there anyone with her? No, D. She's she's by herself. I've been on the phone with her steady. I was on the phone with her for eight hours yesterday. Straight. Unless she had a call from the hospital, then we'd have to end the call, but then she'd phone me right back. 
and I've been on the phone with her a lot today as well unless she's sleeping or trying to get a nap in because she's exhausted she's she's stressed to the max and she's exhausted so oh gosh thanks d i'm glad she does too i'm glad she does too i couldn't imagine doing this by myself I couldn't even imagine not having anyone to talk to. I couldn't imagine. So, yeah, she can phone me day or night. I leave my phone on all night long, just in case. Now, can you see my cup there or no? Like I've got, oh my, oh my gosh. Sometimes it's hard to think. Okay, I'm going to scoop that in here. Well, I'm going to just drop it in there. Okay. Just like so. See, there's quite a bit in here. Like, there's a lot in here. So, I don't know. I don't think that's going to be enough strawberries myself. I don't know. Even if I was thinking too with this. Oh my gosh, this wolf dog, I'm telling you. Fourth of July weekend in the US of A. You do your strawberries. Pipe in your mixture. Blueberry on top. Red, white, and blue, right? And then graham cracker to sprinkle on top of your cream cheese if you want i'm using shortbread cookies myself i didn't think i had graham crackers but i do so i had the the shortbread cookies so i thought nah you know what i'm just gonna do shortbread if you want to use um graham crackers yes go right ahead Like, I don't know about these piping bags. Like, look at that. Okay. Can we see that? I'm just going to, for some reason, it just feels too, come on. Max, you need to stop now. It just feels like it's stuck. And I'm using the biggest piping tip I have. Well, you get the gist of it. I don't know. It just seems... You know what? I'm going to mix this again. I'm going to mix it. Because this is not... You know what? For gosh sakes. Because I forgot to put in the whipping cream. See, I'm not even thinking straight. You got other stuff on your mind. You've got people on your mind. It's hard to keep it straight. And that's what happens. Like I'm I'm steady thinking of Kathy. So I'm not really I'm not really there right now. Sorry. So forgive me. But I think I'm going to. Put my, uh, okay, you know what, I'm going to try this. Well, I'm just saying, holy, I got more strawberries to cut. This is crazy good. Oh my goodness. But I don't want it looking like that. I'll tell you that right now. It's not thick enough for me it's not it needs to be stiffer it needs to be stiffer I don't know sometimes like with the whipping cream if it's out if it's out it gets kind of soft I just not into it so I'm going to mix it a little bit 
on high speed. Like when I did my whipping cream, you whip it till you have peaks on it, which I did. So I don't feel, see now it's thickening up a little bit more. So I'm going to whip it a little bit more. I should have used all of that whipping cream myself but see like some recipes you have to you got to tweak them a little bit so I don't know it just doesn't seem like it's she's not like an egg when you do the, the deviled eggs the egg stands like it's firm Oh gosh, this wolf dog, I'm telling you. He's just being psychotic. I just find it too soupy. Myself. I don't know if whipping cream is any different than whipped cream that you buy in the tub. Because I usually don't buy the stuff in the tub at all. But I might have to. Yeah, like it just seems too, it's too runny. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be. But it sure didn't look like that in the picture, I'll tell you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little thing, and I'm just going to put it on here, like so. That's the only way I can do it, because it's not standing. And I'm assuming that it would stand like an actual deviled egg. Now I'm very disappointed, but the taste is magnificent, though. Like, it is really, really good. Like, it's good. It tastes very good. It's very, um, um, like, it's not overly sweet at all but gosh do I have a lot it's not even funny and they said 18 to 24 strawberries oh gosh this is for way more than 18 to 24 but I guess maybe if once you make it and you chill it let's say you chill it for like a few hours before you use it that might work I'm assuming I'm it's not like I'm, I'm not I'm gonna try it again but this flavor with the strawberries is very good it is very very good does it stand like a deviled egg no the topping no it doesn't but even if you don't do it this way and you make this you could even put it in like in a little side dish have your strawberries even whole and dip them in this you don't have to put this on here like this you don't have to just take your strawberry dip it just like that and eat it ah, really good it's really really good I thought it would be very overpowering sweet with all that sugar but no, it's not. Slim, did you add the ground? No, no, no. You sprinkle the cookie on top. 
you sprinkle the cookie on top. Like the graham cracker or whatever you want to use. I thought I would use shortbread just to be something, just to be different. <laughs> And not use graham because at first I didn't think I had graham crackers like graham crust or graham the graham stuff but I do but I already had this in my processor but you don't even have to fill the strawberries at all but I'm gonna chill this and see if it gets stiffer because it's not stiff enough for me I want a peak on it if i was just using the whipped cream i don't know if the whipping cream is different then i'm using whipping cream not the tub of whipped cream i don't know if there is a difference but i don't for me it's not stiff enough i want it really stiff i want to see a peak coming out of my piping tip just like a deviled egg when i do my deviled eggs I whip them so much to where they, they will peak, like even with a fork. If I flick it with a fork, they'll peak, and that's what I want. But you don't have to do it this way either. You can have a nice little dish. Well, this one's chipped, but you could have a little dish with this in it. Even here, on your plate, fill it with this and have your strawberries whatever fruit you don't have to just use this on your plate beautiful i think that would be awesome and it would be good so you don't have to do it this way either but this is very disappointing i'm telling you but the taste is fantastic look at all of this like that is a lot that's a lot so i might have to make a cake now and use this as a filling or something because I can't let this go to waste there's no way so I'll definitely maybe a chocolate cake I'd make a chocolate cake cut it in half I would spread this in the middle with probably uh, a cherry pie filling even put the cake together ice it not with icing i don't do icing but with a whipped cream oh that would be good too making me hungry again <laughs> what's in the tub it's non-dairy no it's hi Dwayne. no it's not non-dairy it's cream cheese sour cream sugar vanilla extract it was for my strawberries but it's not stiff enough it's a little loose but you don't have to do it this way. You can get a nice dish with your fancy plate. Put your fruit around. Doesn't have to be just with mandarin oranges with this would be good. Dip it. Great snack. Great snack. Would it last long? No, probably not. Probably not. And then sprinkle a little bit of whatever cookie. You could use Oreo cookies. My gosh. Like the 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 ideas are endless i'm just telling you you don't have to do it this way i this is i thought it would be stiffer myself i gotta put it in the fridge i thought it would be stiff like it's like um like an egg when you're doing deviled eggs i thought it would be stiff but it's not do they taste good oh heck yeah i'm just moving my see my light is horrible horrible but just to oh, i put it in the fridge but this stuff tastes good though mm. it's really good and it's not really sweet either it's so good you don't have to do it like that at all it's so good no it's dairy it's dairy it's whipping cream uh duane you, I don't know. Can you get non, non-dairy? We don't eat non-dairy. The only non-dairy that we do is milk. We do gluten-free milk. Because it tastes good. It does taste good. 
but everything here is high fat, high dairy. Just saying. I'm just saying. But it's good, even if you dip your fruit. Just like you do with a vegetable dip, same way. It's good. It is so good. It tastes delicious. Like, it tastes delicious. Just, it tastes good. Like, it tastes good. It's so good. Oh, like I could eat all those. You can't just have one. Mm -mm. You can't just have one. I'm just saying. But I think you could use any fruit. It doesn't just have to be strawberries. Mandarin oranges. I don't know. Raw apple. Pears. Like pears would be good with this. It's endless, like the stuff that you could use with this mixture. And then just a little bit of cookie. Your choice. Oreo cookies would be good with strawberries, I think. I think it would be really good. Chopped chocolate. Put it in your processor. Grate it. Sprinkle it on your strawberries. That'd be a nice Valentine's thing. You know, like people do strawberries and whatever else. On Valentine's Day I don't do that kind of stuff but that would taste good like it would taste really good I think strawberry I have none peaches oh my gosh patty yeah yeah you don't have to use one specific fruit like you can have your little dish full of that mixture and put whatever fruit you want around there sprinkle different stuff on each fruit different kinds of cookie chocolate you name it it's endless you put your brain to work and for ooh, i'm gonna try this try it like try it because this mixture tastes really good it's not overpowering sweet like it's good i'm just saying i never caught a gluten <laughs> One of these days, I don't know. I like the gluten milk. It's good. I won't eat gluten bread, though. No. But not all gluten stuff's bad. Some of it tastes a little out there, but... Okay, see, now I'm just going to keep eating this stuff. But it's delicious. It's delicious. I don't know if you can get non-dairy cream cheese. I don't know if you can or not. If you can, get it. Non-dairy whipped cream. Get it. Try it. Do different toppings. Try it. Because I don't think you'll be disappointed myself. Because it's really good. I don't know how many I've eaten already, so i got to quit eating them. Kiwi! Oh my gosh, yeah! Mango! Yes! Yes! Yes, go to town with your imagination on the fruit. Use your the, your favorite fruit. It's good. I'm telling you, you can't just have one. Like, you can't just have one. Like, oh, I've got a little bit of dishes to do. But, yeah, you can't just have one. What am I on? I've been on for an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, you can't just have one. They are very, very good. I'm telling you. Uh-uh. You can't just snack on a couple of them. You'd have to make like 18 to 24 strawberries. But just to dip it and eat it. A little party, a little get-together that you're having. Oh, gosh, yeah. But if it was stiffer, it's just not stiff enough. It could be because it was sitting out. Whipping cream's a little bit different, I think, than the tub tub cream, whipped cream or whatever. So, but it's very delicious. It tastes really good with fruit. I think kiwi, yeah, mango. Oh, I wonder what it would taste like with watermelon. I don't know. Hi, Peter. How are you and mama? But yeah, it is very, very good. When I seen deviled strawberries, I thought, what? We're going to be making that. I just, I'm, so I've got it in the fridge, and I'm going to see if it gets stiffer. If it gets stiffer where I'm, when I'm stirring it and I can feel it, then, yeah. 
But that whipping cream, I don't know if it's a little finicky or not. When it comes, like, because I had it all sitting out here. I should have just left it in the fridge. Excuse me, when I was going to make it, I should have pulled it out, but I didn't. So. Oh, that's good stuff. Like, that's really good. Oh, gosh, it's so good. It's your gut effect afterwards that requires no explanation. <laughs> yeah, some people who, yeah, when they eat gluten, I've seen it. Like, their stomach's just, they, it, it implodes out. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy. I've seen that firsthand, and it's like, whoa. I couldn't even imagine. But I like the gluten free. I think it's gluten free. Yeah, it's gluten free milk. And the sour cream I used was gluten free. Right. It tastes just like sour cream. It doesn't taste any different. It tastes good. I just didn't get the light sour cream. I did have, I did buy gluten sour cream at one point, but they didn't have any. I would have went all gluten free on this. It still, it would still taste the same, even if it wasn't. I think it would be. It's good. It's really good. So you need to make you some. And I know Kathy's gonna make her. Some. She doesn't care if there's a whip. There's if there's peat. Who cares about that? If you can just dip your fruit, it would probably taste good with other stuff too, not just fruit. I don't know about a vegetable, but. I don't know. Pork makes me bloat. <laughs> I love pork. I like a pork roast. I haven't had a pork roast since my mother was alive. And that's been since 2009. I haven't had a pork roast. I don't think I've had a pork roast since then. I've had a pork chop, but not a pork roast. Like we used to get those really big roasts. Oh, those are so good. And it was funny because when we did our pigs, like we'd slaughter our, our wildlife. But that's what we did. We, we ate what we raised. And there would be like a big chunk of uh, pork roast. Oh, you got it, Peter. There would be a big thick, like this thick of fat on one side. She'd cook it in the oven. I don't know what she did afterwards, but she would make that fat. Like you could knock on it. It was like pig hide. It was you could you could knock on it. It was just hard. And we used to we used to eat like that. We used to eat that stuff all the time. I could never eat that stuff now, but oh gosh, it was so good. I'm not fat, just bloated. <laughs> Farm fresh produce is the best. Yes, we get we got we just got um our fresh eggs from our Hutterite guy. And we got the double packs. I think we've got nine of them in our fridge. Like that's a lot of eggs. I'm telling you. Ate it all my life and suddenly my body. Yep. I hear you, Helen. I hear you. Could eat all kinds of stuff when you're young and then all of a sudden, eh, no, you can't even eat that no more. No, I wouldn't even try to eat that pig fat now. Steak fat off a of barbecue. Oh, love it. Love it. I love a good piece of fat on my meat when I'm barbecuing. It tastes really, really good. It tastes really good. But this is good. So I would definitely try it. I would definitely try it. Definitely. Definitely. Give it a go. Make you some. Like just a southern girl says. Make you some. So. Well, I've got 55 people in here. Hi everybody, this is my cup. I'm drinking coffee. It's Saturday afternoon. We are at, what time are we at? Five, almost 5.20, something like that. I have nowhere to be today. <laughs> I am cooking supper. I didn't cook yesterday. I didn't cook at all yesterday because I was on the phone with Kathy all day. So it's like, no, I'm not cooking. I'm not doing nothing, so. I cooked for my son. That was it. But I didn't do a family. I do a family meal. Is the fen fen for yourself night? So tonight I'll be making supper, and then if I don't put those strawberries away, I don't want to fill up on them. But I think I'll have just strawberries with my meal without 
the cream cheese on it, but this stuff is delish. If you make it guaranteed, you can't just have one. You can't, you can't, you can't do it. Apples and chocolate doesn't agree with me. I've never had apples and chocolate together. I can't eat chicken skin. I can't eat rotisserie chicken skin that you get from the store. It makes my guts do funny things. Let's get those, oh, <laughs> thanks. Please hit the likes up, please, you guys. Thank you, it'd be greatly appreciated. This is not just for me, this live. This is dedicated to my friends. I did an update on Kathy's husband, Tim. This is for them. I'm just putting it out there so everyone knows what's going on. I'm just saying. And then I wanted to do something special for her because she likes cheese. So I thought, well, what can I do that's not going to take too long and it's easy and quick? So this is something that she could whip up the day before, put it away and not worry about it till the next day and think, oh, I'm going to have some of that and just cut the recipe in half because this is a lot. I would cut the recipe in half. Like if you're by yourself or if there's just two of you, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. Unless you can use it in something else. I could use that in a chocolate cake, which I would put in, I would make a chocolate cake in a bread loaf pan and I'd cut it in half. And then I would, cream cheese and jam would be good. I'd like to try marmalade. I like marmalade with the oranges. I like that. Whole fruit in with your cake instead of like a cherry pie filling your cream cheese layered on the cake kiwi strawberries mix it up add all of them together you don't even have to ice it you already got the filling in there so and the more shares and the more prayers for them yes 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 hardcore prayers right now it needs to be yes yeah for sure but that's what I would do is make a chocolate cake to get rid of all this stuff but if you're by yourself or there's just a couple of you yeah you could cut this thing in half because this is quite a bit oh my god you think you could put in oh gosh I oh. it disappears it disappears I don't have my tablet here I have my tablet sitting on the stove so but I wanted to keep get you guys updated on what's happening I've got boiled eggs sitting here so you know what's going on with Kathy and Tim. And if I know more and I can share more, then I will share more. She might later on, but it won't be today. And I don't think it'll be tomorrow. So, because she's going through it right now and it's tough. It's really tough. I can't eat apples and chocolate anymore. I've never had apples and chocolate in before, ever. Hazelnuts, oh, those are good. Even, yeah, I've got uh, the thin hazelnuts, even icing a cake. I don't use icing. I always use whipped cream. Sprinkle your favorite nut on there with this in the middle and fruit. Oh. I think that would be good. A chocolate cake, probably. Not a, well, you could use any kind of cake, actually. Yeah, I might have to make a cake. Not today, though. I'm not making a cake today. That's just too much. Too much. The more shares, the more prayers. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, but I think I am going to get off here. It's been a long day, so I'm tired. I'm tired. Not as tired as I was last night, but I'm tired. Just cook my supper and then just leave my phone free for just in case she needs it. She'll probably phone me after this is over. Unless she's sleeping and maybe she might have laid down. She's pretty tired, so. 
She's pretty tired. I'm not going to phone her if she's sleeping because she won't even hear the phone anyway. I know she won't hear the phone. So I usually wait. I'll send a message. And if it doesn't get checked within the hour, she could be on the phone or, or she's having a nap. So I just wait till she wakes up. And then if she phones me, then I know. What happened here? Like, what happened? Am I still live? Like, I just, my tablet just did the weirdest thing. Sometimes I don't understand this Wi-Fi. I've been kicked off my Wi-Fi. It's shut down. So, but I just wanted to let you know, Kathy told me to let everybody know what's happening. So everybody knows exactly what's going on. And if and when there is another update, I will. If she gives me the go ahead. Otherwise, I won't be I won't be saying anything. So there's a few people that do message me. I don't want people message me and saying, what's what's up? What's up? I am not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing to anybody. So that's not for me to do. So yeah, that just kind of I just wanted to put that out there. So what are you going to make for dinner? We're going to have sausage. Like we've got some sausages like they're like they're big like they're big uh i'm gonna do whipped mashed potatoes like i whip mine with my mixer whipped potatoes i don't know what kind of a vegetable i'm doing yet something light we're not going too heavy too crazy so i'm gonna uh chop some uh green onions like I'll put those on my, because I put uh, sour cream in my mashed potatoes and I whip it with my, my hand mixer. So they're lump free and they're, they're like, they melt in your mouth kind of deal. So that's what we're going to have. Nothing too heavy because right now it's after five. Usually we've already eaten already. So, but nothing too heavy. Like if we eat later, it's not so heavy. If we eat earlier, well, then I'll just, I'll make more. And the strawberries and this stuff too. So, hey, I just might put just the strawberries on my plate. Never mind the vegetables. Have a fruit instead of a vegetable. I don't eat canned vegetables myself. Or I might, well, I might put out some beans, maybe. The brown beans, not the green beans. I don't eat canned green beans. I don't know. It's got to be frozen, so... But that's what we're going to have. So, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to get off here. So I appreciate everybody coming in, even the ones who didn't chat and they're just hanging out, all my moderators and my special moderator who isn't here right now, but she's here. She's here with me. I know she's here with me. She's my number one. So, and Mr. Z, I think he stepped out. I don't even know what happened. I wasn't really paying attention to chat, so I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. So, but thanks for everybody for coming in. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Kathy greatly, greatly appreciates it. So does Tim. The prayers. Just keep praying. They need it. They need it more than ever, and they need it now. They need it more than ever. If they've ever needed prayer, now's the, now's the time. Now's the time. You're very welcome, JP. So I just, everybody knows what's happening. I'll put the description of the recipe in my description box. I would cut it in half because that's quite a bit. Unless you have company, keep it to that. Oh yeah, because it, it's not going to stay long. Tony Z said he's driving. Okay, okay. So I'm glad you all came. Thank you so very much. Kathy thanks you very much. So she's here. She's here. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. So I'll probably see everybody next week. <laughs> same time, same place. Uh, you know what I mean? So I hope everyone has a good weekend. Thanks for coming in, everybody. I greatly appreciate you. So 
Does everybody want to say their goodbyes now before I cut you off? Because I don't want to cut anybody off. Are you feeling good, Brian? Are you okay? Are you better? I better get that there because I know he was a little under the weather there a bit. So, yes, yes. So I hope everybody has a great, great Saturday evening. What time is it out there? 5.30? Oh, well, it's uh, evening already, yeah. So I'm going to get my supper cooking and get it going, get my dishes done. So I'm glad you all came. So you're very welcome, Linda. Everybody, everybody who came, thank you so very much. Yes, ma'am, I'm finally getting better. Awesome, buddy. Glad to hear it. So take care, everybody. Be safe. Be safe. Be well. Be healthy. Tell the person next to you that you love them. I love you guys. It's not just, I'm not just throwing it out there. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.